All right, we're back. We made it. It's the last page. So let's take a look here. We've got Javon is helping his dad build a tree house. Uh, he has a piece of trim that is 13 feet long. How many pieces can Javon cut that are one yard long? How many of a yard will he have left over? So we're going to go from something that is feet long to yard. So what's bigger, a foot or a yard? Yards bigger. So do I need more yards to cover the same distance or fewer yards to cover the same distance? I need less of them because they're bigger, right? Think of a board that's a foot long and boards that are three feet long, right? I can lay down three boards real quick to get nine feet, right? Whereas I got like nine rulers down to get that same distance. So if I want to get fewer of something, what operation is that? It's gonna be division. So we're just gonna take our 13 and what are we going to divide 13 by? Three, right? So we're going to cut this up into lengths of three. Uh, how many threes can I take from 13? Four. All right, good. So four times three is 12. 12 mi 13 minus 12 is, of course, that's easy, one. So I've got this remainder of one. So I have four what? Four, what am I making? Yards. I've got four yards. And you're cutting those off, right? And at the end, you end up with just one little what left? One little foot. That's all I have left. I can't make another yard out of it. It's too short. So I have four yards and one foot left over. All right. This one's a little bit involved here, so we got to pay attention. Um, Patty is building a rope ladder for a treehouse. She needs two five-foot pieces of rope for the sides of the ladder. Two five-foot pieces of rope. She needs seven pieces of rope, oh my goodness, each 18 inches long for the steps. So I've got seven that each are 18, the word each generally means I'm gonna multiply, right? How many feet of rope does Patty need to make the ladder? Write your answer as a mixed number, and as a mixed measure in feet and inches. So there's a lot going on here. Uh, the first thing is, I know I gotta find things in how many feet, right? That's my question. How many feet of rope? Well, the first part's easy. I've got two five foot pieces. So two times five is 10 feet, right? Okay, now what am I gonna do with this other part though? I got 10 feet to start with, and I'm gonna add now. So I just took those two long pieces from the sides, now I gotta add up all the little steps. All right, so I've got seven pieces that are 18 inches long each. So what do I do? I'm gonna multiply. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right over here. I'm gonna take, I always like to put the large number on top. So I'm gonna put 18 times seven. All right, what's 18 times seven? Well, what's seven times eight? 56. Carry my five. Seven times one is seven, right? Plus the five is 12, so I'm gonna have 126 inches, right? Because they're each 18 inches long. Does that make sense? All right, now I wanna know that what this is in feet. So I've got inches and I want feet. Let's see, inches to feet. Well, am I gonna have more feet than inches for the same distance or fewer? I have fewer because they are bigger. So if I want fewer of something, what do I do? Boom, I'm gonna divide. So I'm gonna take 126. I'm gonna divide that by 12. All right, will 12 go into one? No, it won't. So will 12 go into 12? How many times? Once, minus 12. I get zero, right, and I bring down my six. Don't forget this, will 12, can I take 12 from six? No, so I'm going to have to put a what here? A zero, you can't just leave that laying there, right? Minus zero, so I have a six left over, right? And what is it? It is six what? Bingo, so that's six twelfths, right? So this is 10, 10 and six twelfths, and also 10 and 10 feet and six inches. Okay, 
So now I've got to add this to what I already have. Plus 10 and 6 twelfths equals 20 and 6 twelfths, which also equals 20 and what? 1 and a half? All right, so that's the mixed number part, right? Right here, mixed number, got it. This one, you know I'll accept that too, right? Or it's 10 feet plus 10 feet, and how many inches did we have left? Six, right, which is half of a foot, six inches, right? Six inches equals 20 feet, six inches. Boom. So that one's kind of involved. So you might want to replay that, slow it down, go back through it. But, you know, read the question for understanding, not to just pull out numbers and do whatever you want with them, okay? So I know two, two five-foot pieces of rope, I take that and set it aside and deal with it later because it's already in feet and they're whole and it's fine, okay? It's this piece here, the seven pieces of rope at 18 inches. Multiply that out, get the total number of inches, then divide, right, to get your feet and inches left over if there are any, which in this case there were. And this is just trying to relate to you the idea that, you know, these mixed measures are the same as fractions, similar to fractions, okay? So we could have said 20 and a half feet, all right? All right, uh, so compare and contrast. When you compare and contrast, you tell how two things are alike and different, and you can compare and contrast information in a table. This looks a lot like last chapter, right? It's a function box, right? If I put one yard in, I get three feet out, and I get 36 inches out. And so I've got a relationship here. This is going to be a pattern. That is never going to change, right? If I go to 2, it goes to 6, which is double, right? And then this goes from 36 to 72. Which trust me, that's double, right? 3, it triples, etc., etc., etc. So I've got rules going up and down this way. And I've also got rules going this way. Every time I add a yard, how many feet am I adding? 3 feet, right? So I'm adding 3 going this way, and I'm adding 36 going that way. So this is 3, 6, 9... 12, right? And what's 4 times 3? It's 12, right? 12 divided by 3 is 4, right? Um, and the same is true going this way. I can add 36 or I can multiply 3 times what is 36? 12, right? So I can also multiply by 12, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put times 12. Well, what's 9 times 12? 108. And 12 times 12? 144. Okay. Uh, how are the items in the table alike and how are they different? I would put alike, different. And this, there's no wrong or right to this. So go ahead and pause it for a second and come up with a few things and then I'll share a couple real quick and then there's no wrong or right. It's just look at numbers and see what you notice, okay? So I'll wait. Boom, we're back. So how are they alike? Um, it looks to me like they all get bigger as they go to the right. Bigger to the right. Um, it looks to me also like how they're different is that they, some are all even and some are odd and even. So I look at inches, 36, 72, 108, 144, all of those are even. And I got odd, even, odd, even. So some are all even, some odd, even, right? I'd like to hear some of the things that you guys came up with. There's lots of stuff that you could do with this, so don't overthink it. And then look for a pattern. What do you notice about the relationship between the number of larger units and the number of smaller units as the length increases? What do you notice about these? The relationship between these numbers. Like here I've got 1, 3, and 36. And here I've got 4, 12, and 144. Pause. Think about it. All right, you're back. Uh, what I noticed, and maybe you did too, maybe you could share something with me if you know something different, is that they seem to get farther and farther apart, right? Just the farther and farther apart. These are like 33 apart, and down here, they're 100 and, you know, 32 apart. That's pretty far, 
right? And these are eight apart where it's only two apart here. So they seem to get farther and farther apart. Sorry, my penmanship's on the brink here, but they seem to get farther and farther apart. All right, homework here, one second.